Oh, the Wulu, the homie just dropped another video. Okay. Peter vs. KFC victim. What kind of title is this, bro? Let's get it. Hey, Peter. So yesterday, as I was shoving Honey Nut Cheerios up my box, it was like God himself had told me, Hey, what the f*** are you doing? Stop. This <laughs> editing's crazy. Anyways, my point being, we should all have a listen. <laughs> Jeez, Joe. You're I mean, what? Being, we should all have a <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> Crazy. Jeez, Joe. You're already a half vegetable. You sure you want to be a fruit too? Hey, okay. yo. I mean, we all play League of Legends. Clearly, we don't like women. You're right. I do main NASA. Oh, what is this? I'll add home and install my penis. So then this boulder from Clash Royale body bitch waddles to his <laughs> car and sits down. But this peanut brain beluga whale missed a skill check and fully reversed into a random. <laughs> Dog. Oh my god, bro. Yo, I need to see this man live in the flesh in a rose battle, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I feel like he'd be cooking people left and right. I need to see this man in person, bro. Just cooking some shit up. Roasting everybody, bro. That gotta be the funniest shit ever. And sits down, but this peanut brain Doug. of whale missed a skill check and fully reversed into a random mother car. Left this looking like NBA young boy's forehead. The second he hopped out the whip and saw it was KFC's most valued customer, he only had <laughs> one thought in his mind. Customer or victim? <laughs> what if he could respond? Customer or victim? Oh, it says KFC victim. Stupid. And I know that cockle doodle do act was extra mad. This is the face of a man with no insurance. He could call up Moore's Mutual right now and they just start laughing at him. Like, giant chicken. Not to mention, two years ago they gave Peter all you can eat at KFC, and that was this nigga's hot cost. Yeah, this beef was on site. Doug. Ola, how do you how do you avoid yellow marks, bro? Boy, cause this, you ain't here, y'all ain't here. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie. The chicken starts pounding Peter, no ditty, but Peter rebuttals by choking good. the 11 herbs and spices out of this. He then flings him with this Tom and Jerry's kick. Now startled me. Juicy player builds are not supposed to be able to move like that. Anyways, he grabs his car door off the floor like it was a new unlocked item and gave him three straight crits to the head with it. Oh my dear goodness. This has to be how Pac Boy Max got a CT. Now he's sat there looking down like he can't decide what move to use next. Isn't it obvious, my? I use Peck after doing a nice three damage. Peter punched him like a small child. And just look at how he had this. Good. This is Who's that? No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is that? Uh, what the fuck? How do you end up in this situation, bro? This position. Just look at the speed all those little children ran away. Makes me happy, man. Dr. Disrespect can't catch the quick ones. Anyway, so he gets up and gets into the scam mobile. And I think we can all Bruh. agree that ice cream truck drivers gotta be some of the most despicable beings on earth. Right next to the dude that shorty at Walmart. How does paying $6.99 for a SpongeBob popsicle with Down syndrome? I'll put a chocolate peanut butter in your mouth for free. Anyways, he hops in the driver's and blue gangs the whip like it was a hellcat left unattended for two seconds in Atlanta. He skirts off, flinging a Minecraft YouTuber out the back, and hits a bigger U-turn than YB in the mirror after he went from GD to Crip. Had this kid there. They're mad as hell. Oh, Man, you can have shit and cool. Anyway, he starts chasing Peter down the street, had him looking like he was trying to escape the city. Until just like my unpaid 2023 taxes, he cut up to a nigga. The IRS, if you're watching this, please remember the Bible says, forgive him. For a young nigga cannot remember how much he spent on DoorDash. <laughs> Anyways, after he ran him over, he looked back and started smiling hard as fuck. He was getting ready to look in the rearview mirror and start hitting the flight reacts tongue animation. But then Peter sprung up out of nowhere like that f I threw in the dumpster 19 years ago. Started beating his ass oh, through the windshield. In retaliation, the chicken trip. In retaliation, the chicken tries turning him from fat manly to fat <laughs> steadily. <laughs> but Peter passes the quick time event just in time and starts hanging onto the mirror like it was a Fast and Furious movie. They even got the same logic. That man is 500 pounds built like a Whopper Jr. And you're trying to tell me that weak ass <laughs> handle can hold him up? <laughs> okay. And chain wrecks quick coke too, didn't he? Anyway, so they crash, no bandicoot. And all these little Nicholas run to the van like home run to play apex legend they continue their fight into that's the alley crazy bro what, what, what you well what you got against apex bro 
Nah, this man just talking, man. Fighting for the street. <laughs> He's and talking. He's deadly shit. tangle destroying the same brick wall. Fuzzy Tube took his mythical fit pick at. <sighs> Always wanted to know what it was like to whip one of those guys. Left his ass looking like the back of a Plan B center. <laughs> anyway, so Peter keeps a can of Sofago at the chicken with the same accuracy of trying to take a piss when you have a boner. Chicken then turns around oh and all he sees is all 600 pounds of Peter midair getting ready to swamp this nigga. And from personal experience, this is the last thing of Dave's hot chicken number. And Peter hit, uh, <laughs> hit that chicken like Phantom the Duke, bro. Three combos. Y'all seen that? Before I put my dick in it. He somehow tanks him before. This is the last thing of Dave's hot chicken number three combo sees before I put my dick in it. He's Somehow tanks him before he's on top of him for long enough for it to be gay. They get teleported back in time all the way to the distant year of 2019. Wait, uh, this isn't how I remember Otaro. Bro, this is how I know Family Guy is racist. Those niggas did not use bows and spears. They're not fucking primitive. Everybody knows they had Glocks and ARBs. Where's my mother? Anyways, they spawn in on top of the carrot, sending Miley Cyrus's dad to death by a thousand Bojack Horsemen. And all I'm gonna say is Juice was fucking right, bro. All girls are the same. That nigga got ragdolled off the car and the bitch didn't even look back. They continue fighting and I'm just watching like, damn. They are literally just throwing hands at anybody with vanilla skin tone <laughs> because that is very obviously not the same niggas you're just beefing with. What in the world could net spend people have done to make them do What the fuck? 300? Uh, no, nah, this gotta be this gotta be fake. How do you have 300 of everything, bro? Is that mad? All I see is red, Nick. They should have did that That's to Juice girlfriend. Cause the fuck do you mean you're selling his dicks for 5.99? Oh. Anyways, the car starts falling apart, just like my relationship after my girl found out about the freaky shit I be seeing on YouTube. And they just start barreling towards Thomas the Tank Engine's great grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, I guess Thomas' great grandfather was black. Anyways, with the same physics that magically allowed Stephen Hawking to walk on Epstein Island, they magically didn't get turned into fucking pennies by nigga train sign. And is that Martin McFly on his one? I knew that old ass was up to something. FBI must have found the terabytes of COD points on his computer. Anyways, just before they fall into the cliff, they teleport back. And this little nigga hits a Mario Kart level drift straight into the cleanest parallel park I have ever seen. Jeez. This is the type of parking that would have Miss Puff hitting Fortnite emotes. Anyways, they back. fly out the whip, turning the dental. Bill. What the? Bro, what? Where the fuck do you find these clips, bro? See, this is the type of parking that would have Miss Puff hit. Is there a website for these meme clips, bro? Fortnite emotes. Anyways, they fly out the. What the fuck? Out the whip. Oh no. Nah. Turning the dental billboard into an Oluulu advertisement. And they land on top of each other. They pause for a second, but once they realize there's people behind them and they're probably thinking, gay niggas falling from the sky. What? This is not Atlanta. They got right back up and started boxing. They head towards a scientific research center and Unk with Michi Terry's hairline screams out some GTA NPC dialogue and runs off. Anyways, they continue scrapping into the next room and what in the Riley Reed is going on here? They want you to believe that's a real scientist. Nigga, that is Johnny Sins. And look, she's even holding that clipboard full of all the bars she wrote for that one song. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? They slump around what and then the, hop into no the same way. machine that gave birth to half of these underground rappers. When the fuck did like, that happen? Like, how do they even be talking about in their songs anymore? I'm a like damn bro everybody just wants to be autumn now and the machine turns on and they start multiplying like spear goblins straight out of clash of clans not a single hand in that room was unthrown you would have thought it was walmart on black friday That's one of the beaters work, grabs bro. a cock and starts bashing its head against the control panel repeatedly bro is trying to get his style rank up relax and you're not dante some of these motherfuckers are getting creative they pulling straight out of tom and jerry they dead ass threw him to the oven and sent him to 350 degrees fahrenheit like goddamn all these explosions wait 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 he said, get his stout. Relax, and you're not Dante. Against the control panel repeatedly. Bro was trying to get his style rank up. Relax, and you're not Dante. <laughs> trying to get his style rank up. Relax, you're not Dante. That boy put that shit on lately. I ain't gonna lie. Some of these motherfuckers are getting having creative. having that shit they on, cuz. Straight out of Tom and Jerry. They dead ass threw him into the oven and sent him to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, goddamn, all these explosions at this point just joined the Taliban. Today oh, yeah, is another huge either, step boy. for man, and it's gonna be even bigger than Neil Armstrong. That nigga wore a size seven. Oh God! Damn. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Is that a case of fighting a fucking oh, chicken? 
they continue their squabbling into the spaceship. And for some reason, the Nimrods with the launch button must have thought these niggas were the little Einsteins. They're going on a trip in their favorite rocket ship. Zooming through my eyes. Like, bro, this is not Kerbal Space Program. You can't just be letting anyone on a rocket ship. Those G-forces hit them like a goddamn truck. Yeah. Face all the way up, just like Sarah J, except horny niggas is not finna beat to this. And then Sarah you got Jerry over here. Go <laughs> home, nigga. SpongeBob is looking for you. Anyway, the ship slows down, and these two didn't even stop to consider for a second. Holy shit. They made space from interstellar a real thing. Instead, they just got right back to swinging. Except this time in slowed plus reverb. This might be the most Peter has ever used his brain. He falls back, uses the back of the ship to propel himself forward, and tackles him through They're the window. Cooked. I'm genuinely surprised he even thought of that. After all those whippets Peter be hidden, I thought he shared the same amount of brain cells as Billy. And he didn't start destroying the sh After all those whippets Peter be hidden, I thought he shared the same amount of brain cells as Billy. Anyway. So they start destroying the ship, which causes them to crash into the International Space Station. But oh, scientists didn't know shit. that the only sound in space is million dollar babies. <laughs> my fucking ears! Oh my god. And they just god. continue like nothing happened. What Even the if the fuck? ship starts plummeting down like the value of nigga butt token, Peter is still okay. out here throwing special attacks like Grove from the Hobo game. Anyways, so their next destination is a map that was so poorly designed. You would have thought it was New York worry. City. Be advised. Time doesn't make you gay. Nah, uh, this, this, this. This meat and mouth talk in this video is crazy, gang. They giving each other knuckle sandwiches, and as Peter is getting CTE slowly downloaded into his brain, he turns the valve, blasting scalding hot air into the chicken's eyes, and... Wait, did you guys hear that? Say that again. I wouldn't even blame you if you clicked off. Ran straight to a comedically large ranch oh through the dome. God. And just look at both face. Looking both ways like Ice Spice and Lotto just went separate directions. Anyways, he catches the wrench. The same as his childhood. <laughs> Which way you leaning more towards, Ice Spice or Lotto? Let me get Lotto. So hard, he goes flying into some barrels. The nigga said finish him. So he runs, but... Womp, womp. That's he sells tough. so bad. Bro, moving like the Golden State Warriors in 2016. How do you fumble that bad? Peter punches him, which has him doing a trust fall onto some chain. And Peter pulls this lever that sends him flying up to the second stage. He hops on the hook and starts flying up like he was a mega church pastor doing his very serious sermon. Bro, what does this have to do with God? He hops up, and now it's time for the final round. And the chicken from Fortnite was not here to waste any time. He grabbed the chain and started whipping around like he was the Ghost Rider. And Scorpion would be shaking his head. How do you get pulled by your own? Get over here. He barely Facts, died bro. And tried and took his weapon and used it on him. Dog, they like. I don't remember this episode of Family Guy, bro, but they've been fighting for what the entire 30 minutes gang in the fucking show. I still run away. No ads. Peter's skull until A Peter commercial. Just shoves his fist up oh, his God. God. Damn, I knew it was going to get rough. I didn't think it was going to get the that's, that's, that's Okay, okay, okay. See, see, look, it's, I'm all for memes and all. This is absurd. This is absurd, bro. Right here. Uh, speaking of Diddy, Peter grabs the chain and starts choking the chicken. So bro decided to do KFC's job for them and started cooking himself. I dare a chicken to start cooking himself in front of me. I would have looked at him like Facts. this and took a bite. Come here. Ah. Started spamming fire like he was the one that came up with it. Bro, we know you got that shit from Blazing. And he's just hitting him, turning that shit into an 808. One, two, one, two, one, two. Imagine getting your ass beat by a nigga with a flaming hand. Like imagine punching a nigga with a flaming hand. I just could never. I need my hands in pristine condition to play League of Legends. Anyways, after getting Peter low enough oh, to hit him with a glory kill. This motherfucker puts the hook in his flaming hand trying to look as menacing as possible. Like, relax, bro. You're not Captain Hook, and Peter is not the Neverland Pirates. So now Peter's just laying there looking absolutely finished until Peter notices a conveniently placed button. And just as the swashbuckling chicken is about to end him, he presses that shit, wobbling him, and runs back the move I swear fat niggas should not be able to do. Sending the chicken plummeting to his death. <laughs> Damn! Oh my. Oh, wait, Chase. Oh my that. dear God. This nigga got Jason Love. Sure. Surely it can't get oh. yours. Anyway, so Peter falls into the water. Oh, I'm still man. not fully sure fat niggas can swim, but I'll ignore it. Because we got videos dropping every day on the second channel. Go subscribe. 10,000 subs and I'll loop up and twerk. But wait, why, why is it? Every day? Bye. What you mean every day? Come on, get your consistency up. Consistency up. Come on, gang. Every day on the second channel, go subscribe. 10,000 subs and I'll loop up and twerk. But wait, why, why is it panning over? Is there more? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. A talkie sponsorship? Okay, bye. The way he slipped that freaking ad into that shit is crazy. Dog, they've been fighting the whole episode. It seems like 
Because look, TV shows are usually 30 minutes, right? I don't remember this, but you mean to tell me they've been fighting that whole fucking time, bro? No breaks. That shit gotta be so fucking tiring. I'm not even gonna lie. To sit there and just watch them two fight each other. It, they, they dragged it, bro. It, they, they dragged it. Family got dragged this. You know what I'm saying? Now, the way this shit ended. Crazy work. All that. And he's, look, he, cook, he got oh cooked god. up. Oh my god. He's cooked, but still alive. Man, I don't know, dog. I don't know. Ola Wulu, your commentary is fucking absurd, gay. I, I just want to see this man roast in a roast battle, bro. I feel like he would cook shit up and make shit hilarious. Not even Tesla, because he already brought up. <laughs> What's this, Wulu? I know Uncle Ruckus nodding his head expectantly at the title. Never miss gay. 759, are you trying to tell us that, man? Be advised, sucking dick once. Okay. Bro. And then these audio memes. Like, where do you, where do you, where do you find that, bro? This man is the funniest cartoon anime reaction channel on YouTube. Sure doesn't look like Baki. <laughs> There's people waiting for a certain thing, but you slacking over here just uploading other shit. Hey, man. Content is content. We love the consistency. You know what I'm saying? Keep dropping that shit, bro. You finna hit 300k, too. That's wild. Let me know what you guys thought, man.